In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to resize images for use on a website or a web page. And when I say resize image, I mean make the file size smaller, not zoom in or out on the image. All right, those two things are independent of one another. All right, I'm going to be using an online tool cleverly named Online Image Editor. All right, there's lots of tools out there. This one's free. There's other free services. Uh, I chose this one just because it's pretty easy to use. All right, so let's take a look at the image we're going to resize. Okay, so here I have a couple of images. Maybe I took them on my smartphone. Maybe I took it with a digital camera. And uh, we can see that the size is pretty big. All right, so these image sizes can range from a few megabytes up to maybe as big as 50 megabytes. And okay, those size files have their application, but they're not good for use on the web because a bigger file is going to take longer for the end user to download and it will take longer for the page to load. All right, and people get sort of anxious waiting for web pages to load, they may just leave your website if it takes too long. All right, so let's just take a quick look at this image. Okay, so this is what that image looks like right off the smartphone. Okay, so I can go ahead and like zoom in or out on this image, and right, I can do lots of things to display it in a different size, but when I do that, I'm not actually changing the physical size of that file that it's based on. Okay, so that's what we wanna do. And so then I'm going to jump into Online Image Editor and show you how to do that. Okay, so I'm just going to click on the upload an image button. I'm going to find the image I want to upload and I'm going to click open and it's going to take a few seconds. Okay, I edited out a bunch of that wait time. Don't be surprised with a large file if it takes maybe up to a minute to upload that image. So what we get is that image in its native size. All right, and it's pretty large. All right, so it's 4000 pixels wide, 3000 high. All right, and that's where we get that 4.39 megabytes from. Okay, so we obviously don't need this much size for the web. When we resize it though, we are gonna lose some quality of the image. All right, so our job is to make the file smaller and not degrade the quality of the image to make it unusable. All right, so all I'm gonna do is click resize here and then you can either use the slider, all right, to adjust the height and the width or you can just type in a size. I'm gonna type a size I'm familiar with, 102. Two, four. All right, I'm going to hit tab and you're going to want to make sure this box is checked so that when it resizes the width or the height, it automatically resizes the other dimension. All right, if you don't do that, the image is going to become distorted. Okay, so once that's done, we'll click apply. We now have a smaller image. I'm going to save it out to my computer. And I'm going to put it in the same folder. Uh, I'm going to change the name they are giving it to something a little bit more meaningful to me. So I'll call it Rainbow Small. And then I'll click Save. Okay, so now we have it. I'm going to go take a look at what happened to the size of the file. Okay, so we can see there's the original 4.4 megabytes. All right, and then the resized image is less than 10% of that size. All right, so I made the image roughly a quarter of the dimension. All right, but that translates to a file size of about one tenth. And then we can compare the two images side by side to see how much the quality degraded when I resized it. All right, so I'll just double click this to open it. All right, so there's the resized image and I'm gonna put the original image up here beside it. Okay, so there's the original one. I mean, it looks bigger here. Uh, that one is displaying in 100%, right? And you can see the, the entire image, right? This one's only displaying at about a third and you can't quite see the entire image. I'm gonna zoom out a bit. All right, that's as far out as I can zoom. But just looking at the two images, it's, it's not really noticeable, uh, the degradation in the smaller image or the smaller file size. All right, so that's what we're looking for. And now that is suitable to use on a web page or a website. All right, so hope that helps you get started resizing images.